chemistry, physics, where physics get charged. So in the today, today's video, we will discuss equilibrium of system of charges. So basically, from mechanics, whenever any body or system is set to an equilibrium, if only when resultant force on it is zero for translational equilibrium, and uh, the net torque on it is zero for rotational equilibrium, so that the body is set to be in equilibrium. Right. Similarly, now we are going to discuss the equilibrium of system of charges, whether they are charged bodies or uncharged bodies. The condition is same for translational equilibrium. The resultant force on it should be zero. And again, when I am classifying the equilibrium of any bodies, there are three types of equilibriums are there: stable equilibrium. Unstable equilibrium and a neutral equilibrium. When you are coming to the stable equilibrium, so there is a tendency of attaining up to the initial position once again or original position once again. Then such kind of equilibriums are said to be stable equilibrium. To understand this, I am taking a small example. If you are taking a hollow sphere, in this hollow sphere, uh, when we are uh, placing one ball here. So that when you are displacing it, it will be coming to certain displacement and again coming to the original position and coming to this side. So it making the oscillations definitely again coming to its original position only. So such kind of uh, bodies are said to be under a stable equilibrium. In the stable equilibrium, the important point is the potential energy of such kind of uh, bodies are minimum. And again, when it comes coming to the unstable equilibrium. There is no tendency of a body to regain its original position on disturbing it. Whereas the stable equilibrium, there is a tendency of attaining to its original position on disturbing it is said to be stable equilibrium. Whereas there is no tendency of a body to attain its original position on disturbing it is called unstable equilibrium. To understand this, if I am placing the same ball on same ball on the top surface of this uh, hollow sphere. So that is it again if you are disturbing it, so that it will be falls down at right or left. But uh, is it possible to gain its original position there? No. Such kind of bodies are said to be under unstable equilibrium. In this unstable equilibrium, the potential energy is maximum Why? because there is a and drastic difference or position of the body from initial point to final point. So that here the potential energy is a maximum. And coming to neutral equilibrium. If uh, on disturbing the body, it remains in the new original new position only and it not able to get the or, uh, original position, so that is called neutral equilibrium. Means, for example, on the horizontal surface, if I am placing the body on disturbing it, means under the application of some external force, so that it will be coming to here and it will be remains at rest in the new position only. It will be remains to rest in the new position only. Then such kind of bodies are said to be neutral equilibrium, right? And again, basically, whatever the type of equilibrium, to they are in a translational equilibrium, the resultant force should be equal to zero. Of course, internal forces may are there, but I am coming to the net force list. When the resultant or net force on the body is zero, then it is said to be an equilibrium. But especially said to be translational equilibrium. When it is in a net torque is zero, then it is coming under trans rotational equilibrium. So now I am coming to the, the this equilibrium in the system of charges. So further, here I am taking the two charges of Q and Q identicals. Okay, are placed at the distance of r from each other. So my point is, so whenever you are placing the uh, charges here, supposed to be these are like charges only. The force on the first due to second should be towards left, as we discussed in the previous videos. Let me check it. And uh, the force on second due to first is again repels you, so that E of two one, right? So now I, these two are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So my point is to get this this system of two charges in equilibrium, I need to place the one more charge. That point is where and uh, what magnitude of charge I need to place at the center of system of charges so that the set of these three charges is set to be in equilibrium is a question there. Got my point? You are given the two forms of charges here and which are separated in the certain separation R. In between them, what should be the magnitude of charge I need to place at the center of a system of charges? When it is set to be center of system of charges, then definitely it should be of at the distance of R by 2 from any one of the charges. 
Now, when the resultant force is said to be zero, in this case, when FR is zero, if you are taking the net force on anyone, say for example, I am taking the force on first, net force on first, so that this first particle is experiencing the force because of second as well as because of third. Let this is the third charge. We are placing at the center so that this system of charges is said to be in equilibrium, right? So further, here we can write a force on first due to second plus force on first due to third should be zero so that the net resultant force on the first particle is said to be zero for translational equilibrium especially we are discussing about the, the uh, translational equilibrium because we are all, all in, in this uh, already discussed about the static charges on the stationary charges so better to discuss only the translational equilibrium right so now f12 f12 can be written as what 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q1 q2 q2 is also identical charge sent to here so q square by the separation between them is a r square plus the force between 1 and 3 is the 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q into q by the separation between the first charge and this uh, third charge is r by 2 pi because we are placed uh, at the center of system of two charges right so now we can write this as 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q square by r square is equals to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon q into q by r square by 4 so we can write 4 here Okay, my dear friends, so that here 1 by 4 pi epsilon, 1 by 4 pi epsilon get cancelled, 1 qq get cancelled, r square and r square also we get cancelled, here we will get a q is equal to minus 4q, so that here q is equal to, we will get minus q by 4, means whenever I am placing the charge of magnitude 1 by 4 of any one of the charge, at the center so that the system of these two charges is said to be in equilibrium but important thing is here the sign why because because here in the options definitely they will have plus q by 4 and minus q by 4 so then how we will have differentiate that whether we are choosing positive or negative charge sir so further to my logic is here this will be experiencing the force because of second is a repulsive one when is a repulsive one it should be towards left Again, this first particle is experiencing the force because of third. When this force on first due to third is opposite to the direction of force on second, so that they are in opposite direction. When they are in opposite direction, there is a possibility to get a resultant force zero. Which means, again, to get the force between first and third to the right, it is what possible when the force between the small q and capital Q should be attractive. In order to get the attractive force, we already took this as a positive, then this should be of negative. When it is a negative, so that here we can write a F13 is a negative. Yes. In this way, without doing this also, we can uh, decide that whether it should be a positive or negative by the vector direct direction of the forces here. Thank you for watching. And uh, we will discuss in the next video. Okay, the system of uh, three charges and four charges are in equilibrium, right?